Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Captendo and uh, I've been getting a lot of questions in a lot of my videos about, or questions, are they quite, I guess they're questions. Uh, questions about people not being able to find worlds that I've like made avatar videos on. And um, in general, it's because people are getting the Oculus Quest and not like, like an actual like VR headset. Um, there's a lot of confusion, I guess, when it comes to VR headsets, especially with Oculus. Um, I've seen people who get the Oculus Quest who think that, you know, Oculus means only Oculus Quest, but there are, I guess technically there's four Oculus systems now. There's the original Oculus Rift, there's the Oculus Quest, and then there's the Oculus Quest 2, which is the new one, and then there's the Oculus Rift S, which... The Quest 2 came out after the Rift S. I should have probably said it that way. I don't know. <laughs> but um, when it comes to the Oculus Quest, you aren't going to be able to experience VR chat or mainly like the other main VR games out there. You're not going to be able to experience them or be even be able to experience them at full functionality if you can't even load the game. And, and a good example is, uh, is VR chat. Um, so with VR chat, people on the Oculus Quest are not going to be able to go to every single world because the Oculus Quest isn't capable of handling those worlds. Uh, I mean, if you think about it, it's a $300 headset. Let's, let's just say for some reason it's, you know, the headset itself costs $50. So then that means there's like $200 or $250 worth of hardware in there. But for actual VR, like real VR, that requires a PC, which could cost you like a thousand dollars. I guess that's like, that's like your standard gaming PC, I believe. Yeah, that's like standard. That's not like high end. That's like your standard gaming PC is going to be around like a thousand dollars, I guess, 800 to a thousand dollars, I guess. VR requires that because VR is the PC, not, not the headset, not the controllers. VR, the system is the PC. The headset and the little hand controllers, that's why I'm waving around here, those are just that. They're basically the, they're the controllers and the monitors so that you can see. Um, I'll, I'll put up a graph here. So for normal PC games, if the PC is the system, the monitor is what you use to see uh, what, what's happening on the system. And then the keyboard and mouse are the, uh, they're the controller that allow you to control what happens on the system. If you take it over to VR, the PC is the system. The headset is the monitor that allows you to see what's going on on the system. And for me, I'm on Oculus. So the Oculus Rift controllers, the hand controllers, are the keyboard and mouse that allows you to control what happens on the system. So regardless, you need a PC in order to run VR. So the requirement is you have to have a PC, the VR headset, and then the controllers. That's, that's, that's the VR requirement. So if you don't have those and you just have a quest, you aren't gonna be able to run games well, or, or if at all, because there's not enough hardware in a $300 headset to be able to run uh, the VR games that people are getting VR or getting VR for. I got it. <laughs> got in my little hand nubs. So I've been getting a lot of questions about people not being able to find worlds. And the general answer for that is if you are on Oculus Quest, there's your answer. <laughs> Now, this doesn't mean that just because you you got an Oculus Quest that you can't do VR. Um, I, I'm not sure what it, I believe it's called the Oculus Link, but there's a VR cable. Um, there's a cable that allows you to plug your Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2 into a computer so that you can run it like normal VR. So if you have the Oculus, uh, if you have the Oculus Quest, uh, you, can, you can still keep that, you can still play it. Um, but I believe if you want to play games like VR chat and be able to fully experience the game without the limitations of the Oculus Quest, because it's, it, it's too cheap to have good enough hardware in it to be able to run VR games at full functionality. 
But so you already got the VR headset and the controllers. Now all you need is the computer and then you have to buy that Oculus Link cable. I'll, I'll check that up. Make, I'll make sure that that's actually what it's called. But I believe it's called the Oculus Link. Um, I have a friend who she has the Oculus Quest or she has the Oculus Quest 2. And um, that's what she has to do because she said that without plugging the Oculus Quest 2 into her PC, she can't see her friend's avatars. She can't go to all the world. She has to go to you know, quest ready worlds. And in order to see her friends, they have to be wearing quest compatible avatars. So that's why she got the cable so that she can actually, you know, play with her friends and see her friends avatars and go to the world. So she, she has to use the Oculus quest or sorry, she has to use the Oculus link thingy. Now, um, I'm going to go over, let me make sure that this is recording correctly. Yes, it is. Okay. So I'm going to go over how to tell, cause you know, I don't have Oculus quest or a quest Two, Uh, so I haven't really been looking. I've just been going to normal VR worlds. Cause that's just how I've been playing. Uh, but we're going to go over how to tell if a world or an avatar is quest compatible. So, so if, if you watch one of my videos, you'll be able to look at the video and see right away whether or not, um, it's quest compatible or not. All right, everyone. So if you look over here, you will, I'm going to try and keep my head still too, or stiller than it normally is. Cause I'm like, who, <laughs> Uh, if you go over here, you will see the, this is the world that we're in right now, the VR chat home. And if you are looking to see whether or not a world is quest compatible, you will look over here in the top right. And I'm going to lean in so you guys can see it. And it will say here, PC and quest. If though, if either one of those is lit up, that means it's compatible for that. Um, and I guess there, you can take that PC quest thing and then look at that as well. Um, there's a reason why they say PC and then quest separately because PC is, it, it doesn't just mean you're, you're not playing in VR. PC means you're playing with a real VR headset and then quest means that you're playing with a quest headset, right? So, uh, if you're on the Oculus quest. All you need to look for is whether or not that that where it says quest, it's lit up with green. If you see that, then that means that the world itself is quest compatible. Um, so if you're looking in one of my videos and you see me show the world, which I show at the beginning of every video, uh, you just got to look over there. And if you see it's lit up green where it says quest, then that means it's a quest world and you'll be able to go to that world to... Um, get the avatar now there may be quest ready worlds or quest compatible worlds but let's say there's a quest compatible avatar world but not all the avatars in that world are quest compatible so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys how to see whether or not a avatar is quest compatible so to do that let's go ahead and find a world all right well we can just do this world so this is the mids ava avatar world I've shown this before in a couple videos. Um, over here at the top right, you can see it says it's for PC and Quest. So that means it is Quest compatible. So you can go there. Uh, you can go to the world itself because the world itself is Quest compatible. So we're going to go here and then we're going to check on the avatars and show you guys how to check on avatars, whether or not they're Quest compatible. All right, everyone. So here we are in the avatar world and I'm going to be showing you guys when we go up to the avatars, as you can see over there, there's a bunch of avatars here so we can show you guys. And I'm pretty sure they're all quest compatible, but we'll go ahead and show you guys how to tell whether or not a avatar is quest compatible, though. I'm pretty sure if the world is quest compatible, that means the avatars in the world are quest compatible as well. But in the off case that there is a situation where there is a quest compatible world, but it does not have quest ready avatars, uh, you'll be able to look and see. So when you go over to the avatars, we'll go over to, uh, oh, what's her name? It's like Mina or something from, uh, that, that might be wrong from My Hero Academia. As you can see on the quest avatar, a little pedestal, cause each avatar has an avatar pedestal. You can see all around here. Whoops. There's nothing over there. <laughs> As you can see here, there's a bunch of pedestals. You can see right up in the top right corner of the image. It's has, it has PC and quest lit up. 
So that means it's both PC compatible, which is if you're playing on desktop mode or you're playing in, in like normal VR, PC is that's the indicator that it works for that, which pretty much every avatar is going to be compatible for PC. That's just it. Um, and then next to that, you can see where it says quest and that's lit up with green. That means it's, well, I mean, it, it, the color doesn't matter as long as it's lit up with a color, that means it's compatible. So you can see right there, it's quest compatible. And I'm pretty sure since this is a quest compatible world, all the avatars, yeah, all the avatars here seem to be quest compatible. I, I assume, um, but let me find my camera again. I don't know where I put you guys. Hold on. I'll run around. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, there we go. But yeah, so uh, pretty much in the off case that a world does uh, or is quest compatible, but does have avatars that aren't on the inside of it, which I don't, I don't think that's a thing that could happen. But if it does, now you can tell whether or not a avatar or an avatar world is quest compatible. Um, I, I'm saying this because it's also Christmas. I know a lot of people got the Oculus Quest. A lot of parents bought their kids Oculus Quest. A lot of people got it for Christmas. I know <laughs> uh, I've been getting a lot of comments about it and I'm sure I'm going to get a lot more. So that's why I'm making this video here to explain in a, in a single video uh, why you can't find the worlds and then how to tell whether or not it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so that's about it. Um, again, it's it's the 26th now, actually. So uh, happy late Christmas. <laughs> and uh, that's going to be it for today's video. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys enjoy your quest too. And again, uh, it's not over. If you, if you got the quest, you can still always get a PC later and then get the Oculus Link. I, I'm pretty sure it's called the Oculus Link. Um, so, and then there you go you'll you'll be able to do all the all the avatars and all the worlds um so long as you get a good enough computer but your standard pc should be enough uh but if you don't know i don't know anything about computers so <laughs> uh find someone who does know about computers and who also knows about vr and they will be able to answer that for you um so yeah <laughs> So that's going to be it for today's video, everybody. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys had a good Christmas. Hope you guys had a good holiday. Hope you guys have a good New Year's. Uh, whatever other holidays are coming up. I only really know Christmas and, and Halloween. And Halloween, I only know it's on the 31st of October. And I'm still like, well, when's the 31st of October? Because <laughs> I don't know what day of the week it is. But yeah. So anyways, that's it for today's video, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this helped. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.